Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the third point of the five point travel system. So for those of you who missed my first two videos on the first two points, I definitely recommend going back and taking a look at those. Uh, the first one is on root patterns and shapes and the second one is on compass cardinal directions. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the third point of the five point travel system, which is probably the easiest for most people to grasp. Uh, it's not very complicated, but it's really important in maintaining one's orientation. So the third point is learning to use hallway names or street names as a way of orientation. And let me give you some examples here. If you're in a, say a big business uh, building and there's a lot of intersecting hallways, it can be pretty confusing uh, to remember which hallway is the one you need to go down or turn on. So you might be wondering, well, most businesses don't name their hallways. So that really becomes up to you or the person who's looking to navigate that building uh, to come up with. So it can be something that's identifying such as uh, maybe there's a drinking fountain down one hallway, so you can call that the drinking fountain hallway. Or uh, maybe the room that you're looking to go into, uh, if it's in a college campus maybe, that your classroom, uh, you can call that your uh, classroom hallway. So whatever you can really come up with that fits um, that hallway that's something you can remember uh, easily and even locate by using a landmark, uh, which will be covered more in the fourth skill of the five point travel system. So learning to use street names for orientation is a little more self-explanatory because most streets already have names. So if you're traveling throughout a neighborhood or a downtown area, being able to know what each street name is that you're crossing or passing can be really helpful in maintaining one's orientation. Because it can become very easy, especially if you're doing a lot of street crossings and a lot of crossings, to forget exactly where you are. Um, so having the names can be really helpful in remembering um, where you are and where you're going. So knowing the street name can also be helpful if you need to ask somebody for help uh, locating a certain street. Um, if you don't know street names, it's really hard to ask for directions. So learning the street names can be really helpful in that regard as well. So that's just a quick overview of the third point of the five point travel system. It really is an easy uh, one to learn, but I definitely recommend spending some time to practice this. Uh, the more you practice, the easier it'll become to just remember either different hallway names or street names. So hopefully this video was helpful in learning a little bit about the third point of the five point travel system. Have a wonderful day.